Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. So, we are only less than 23 hours away from the draft. Sorry, I haven't had a whole lot of videos and stuff out here, but I've been literally burning. I mean, I've been burning the midnight oil. I've been burning my ass off. You can see, look at this. You see all that? That's a sweat ring, because I've been out here sweating. I got over 12,000 steps in today. And just getting started, because I'm gonna have a house full of, well, not house full. It's only about five people. But I got people coming, and I wanna make sure that everybody has a good time. I got to get back in practice and get in football season shape here. So I'm getting ready to smoke these uh, pork shoulders. Now, if you watched my video earlier today when I was seasoning it and some of you guys were grasping because I was putting mustard on it, here's what's interesting, okay? Uh, again, there, there's more than one way to skin a cat or to do pulled pork. But when you put the mustard on it for whatever reason, there ends up being all this liquid that comes up off of it, okay? And, and I think it's breaking down some of the muscle fiber and it makes the, the rub almost like a glaze and really stick to it. So I've had this out for about 30 minutes so that way it'll start getting to be room temperature. I'm getting, look, okay? I know you propane haters out there, stop hating on propane. Stop hating on it. You see this? Ooh, that's a chunk of chair. That's real wood. That's real wood that's gonna be in the smoker smoking, look chunk of cherry cherry okay so and oak charcoal so that's gonna go in there the propane just keeps the temperature consistent that gives it the smoky taste okay and it means I don't have to be out here every you know 30 minutes putting another log on I get a couple hours of sleep in and it's gonna be a long mother hump night because I gotta cook this thing it's gonna take about 15 hours because tomorrow night, we're going to be in here. We'll be broadcasting all three days. Stuart Morrison said, uh, are you just doing tomorrow? Yeah, no, I'm doing all three days. If the draft is on, we're on. So make sure you tune in. And if you're a channel member, you get to be part of the conversation. You are actually on the Zoom. So tomorrow uh, afternoon, I'll put the link in. So that way, you guys will be able to be in here. I still have some more testing to do. It just ain't enough hours in the day. In fact, I realized because they said there's a chance of rain tomorrow. I got the canopy and stuff out here, which helps, but before, I, I mean, I didn't really finish with the canopy because there's about a gap about this big between the canopy and the wall. And so I needed to basically build the, the deck out to that and put some flash in there. So I had to rip off some of the deck boards today to get that together and, and put that down. And, and then of course I gotta you know get rid of and clean up and all this stuff. And then there's the honeydew list and stuff. So that's why you haven't seen too many videos because we're gonna be going haul ham tomorrow, okay? Now here's my thing, here's my plea. my hope on this i know you guys are all hell bent we always get hell bent every year on one guy that we think is going to be the one you know remember people were saying take for tua you know take for two remember when people say let's get johnny manzel show me the money he gonna be the guy you know we all get in there you know remember johnny and clowny oh man we gotta get clowny we get clowny man we, we go on the super bowl yeah those guys people always get focused on those guys but you know what the amazing thing is just like with carson wentz and jared golf you know two guys that ended up basically being given away and and well i'll, I'll come back to the hand for a second The other thing, see, I, I'm also worried about too is I have to have, hey, look at that. You see that? All you propane hangers, does that look like propane to you? Does that look like propane? Oh, what it looks like, it's about to burn down the deck. That is smoke, okay? All right, all of you haters, out there. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Now, 
that's going to kind of ease down a little bit and then it will just leave delicious smoke and then I'll put some more um, wood chips on the smaller ones after it dies down some so that way it'll, it'll, it'll kind of simmer there but every year people swear that there's one guy that if we just get that guy we gonna be great and just like everybody thought that you know Carson Wentz Jared Goff those guys are the quarterbacks that are going to be the ones that get it done. They're going to be great in the next 10 years. We don't have to worry about quarterback, right? Yeah, that's what they always say. But yet, it's always somebody else that they didn't actually think about that was going to be the great ones. And as many times as we've seen people trading up and being desperate for that quarterback, more times than not, it ends up being a failure. The Eagles, the Rams, Washington. Uh, they didn't trade up for Haskins, but again, another fail. So my plea here is this. As we get ready for this draft, every year, I am like a broken fucking record. Every year, I keep screaming, defense, defensive line, one technique, tackle, to no avail. We always go for all the sizzle, the wide receivers, the cornerbacks, the edge rushers. But we always forget about the safety, and eh, we'll get Xavier Woods a sixth round. That's where, that's good enough. Eh, we'll go ahead and we'll bargain basement shop for some, you know, defensive tackles. All right, we'll just take a, you know, a, 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 a regular, a, 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 you know, a regular tackle. We'll make him a nose tackle. It don't matter. It's not important. Well, if the Cowboys are in fact trying to do this hybrid, let me just rinse this off. The Cowboys are, in fact, trying to do this hybrid defense. Can you can you see any smoke of it? It's kind of dark out here because it's late. If they are going to try and do this hybrid defense, where basically you got two linebackers and you've got like five D backs, this does not work without a lights out defensive tackle, without being able to control the line. And so many times I have seen teams like the Giants don't have elite talent on the offense, aren't great offensively, but they have a great defense. And as much as we look at Pat Mahomes and all these guys, you know, and say they're great and all that, all of them have great defensive tackles. They're able to stop the run, which when you get later in the season, as guys start breaking down, the run becomes that much more important. So my plea is, please, 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 please take care of the defensive tackle and get me a real safety along with the D-back. And here's my final question to you. Look at There's snow coming out, guys. Here's my final question to you. Look at that. This is going to be beautiful by tomorrow. Got to put our thermometer in. Which would be better if we ended up with Kyle Pitts on the offense or instead of Kyle Pitts, we get another corner that's at least as good, at least as good 
as Diggs and a defensive tackle, a nose tackle, that can stop the run. If we were to get those two pieces or Kyle Pitts, which one would carry us further? I'm going to say getting the cornerback and the tackle because you may have that opportunity to do this. And I want to go through, this is another one of those things I wanted to look at because, you know, everybody's focused in on Patrick Sertan and J.C. Horn and all that. I don't believe that Diggs was as highly rated as, like, you know, the top defensive back in there. In fact, I think he was way down the chain. I got to go look. But he ended up being one of the better ones last year. And, and I may be wrong on that, but I'm going to go back through. Because just because they're not the ones that everybody's focused on doesn't mean that they're not going to be great players. In fact, I dare say that a lot of times you get players that go to the football factories that have players that are backups that can be starting on other schools that you don't have to do as much to look as great. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody around you is elite. With you or without you, we're still beating teams by 40 points. That you're overmatching other players. When you get to the NFL, sometimes those guys haven't been challenged. Sometimes those guys aren't used to playing the best of the best. And that's why those guys end up wilting. Whereas the other guys that have been on the other side of that, that have been to that small school, that maybe they're the standout, the, the Charles Haley. Because, let, let, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. When we played at JMU, there weren't very many players on our team. I mean, we had Gary Clark, of course, who you know got a couple of rings with Washington. There was Charles Haley. There was our, there was our kicker who was the... <laughs> the Buffalo Bills kicker, we don't talk about it too much. But, you know, they ended up shining and ended up being really, really good. But nobody thought about them. And so they had to play on a higher level to be noticed. Those other guys, a lot of times guys, just because we're at a big school that people see you and say, oh, you're doing great things because that guy on the other side is doing all the work and I'm getting all the easier players. So... That's what Ooh. Sorry about that. I've been going all day, man. I get over 12,000 steps in. Haven't eaten all day. And um probably won't get more than about 4 hours sleep total tonight cuz I'll be tending this thing. Make sure that we're good to go. Because the troops have to be fed. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let me just top this off here. guys let me let y'all take a peek here before I get out of here let's let's see if you can see them the only thing I, I wish this had a light in the oven but look Ooh. come back in about 15 16 hours we gonna be good I'm Mark Holmes and well I'll see you guys soon